want to ask you about uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins a little bit. You've played with him now for, for a little while. And what kind of attributes does he bring to the table, a guy that can play up and down the lineup? Yeah, he's, a, he's obviously a really skilled guy. Um, plays a really good 200-foot game, reliable. Uh, you know, I think his, uh, his playmaking obviously is uh, top-notch. And, um, you know, he's a guy that, uh, you know, does a lot of good things for our group. How important is a guy like that that, that can – do a lot of little little things and oh, it's, and it's it's key um, if you want to have a successful team and a balanced team you're going to need guys like that and for him to be able to you know uh, carry as much offense as he does on the defensive side um, is, is a big attribute for our team what did you think of uh, practice and just how um, spirited and uh, focused and maybe a bit battle driven that it was yeah i think it was good i think uh i think our starts um we haven't been as engaged as I think we've we've probably would have wanted uh, physically, and I think that that kind of feeds into our group when when we do uh, start to bring that part of our game, that physical presence, and everybody's getting involved. And I think we saw that in the second half of the game. We just have to bring that at the start. Speaking of the starts, how do you guys start on time? What what have the internal conversations been about that now leading up to today? Yeah, I mean it's it's a couple of games in. It's. Uh, seems when we play Calgary, it's always something weird going on. Um, but uh, I, I think we're, we'll, be have a, we'll have a much better start uh, Tuesday night. And um, like I said earlier, we know we need to get engaged physically. I think it wakes everybody up, both as a team and individually. And uh, I think it will lead to, to more success early on in the game. Can you talk about the execution of the game plan when you're up or even in a tie game as opposed from you know, crawling back into a game? What's the difference there? Yeah, I mean, both games we really haven't been in rhythm at all. Um, you know, because of those starts, uh, because of penalties, um, different special teams, four and four, four and three. Uh, so when you get out of the rhythm, you know, we're mixing and matching. Um, it's, it's tough to, to, to build some momentum uh, sometimes. And I think later on in the game, we started to do that. We just have to try to get off to some cleaner starts. And I think uh, we will. And I don't really have an issue in, in believing in this, that this group can. You know, we did it last year. Um, we're a tough team, especially in our building to play against early. And uh, we just got to get back to that. Being physical is obviously part of your game. Can it be counterproductive to try to go out and say, okay, you know what, I want to lead physically and maybe you get out of position? How do you ensure for yourself to say, hey, you know what, if I'm going, I can maybe be the emotional leader? How do you balance that where you're not running around? Yeah, I, I think, uh, are you asking me specifically? Yeah. Well, for me, I think, uh, I know I've been around a long time, so I know how to, it might look a certain way uh, to the spectator on the ice, but I, I'm, in, I'm very much in control. Um, I, I enjoy that part, especially, you know, when you have emotional games and, um, you know, there's so much going into the game, like, uh, like the Battle of Alberta. You know, you want to be, uh, be that physical presence early. I thought our first shift we did, we did a great job of that. Um, we just need to continue to follow that up shift after shift after shift. And, you know, I think we have a lot of smart guys in this room and we understand what uh, the difference is between being physical and running around with your head cut off. So I think, uh, I don't think that's our issue. I, I just think we can maybe ramp it up a little bit more physically uh, early because I think that it just gets you involved in the game.